Hi guys, my name is Hayden, aka Caterpillar Loop, and today I want to speak to you guys about something really quick. And you probably already noticed that this video isn't as energetic as the rest of my videos, but I just want to speak to you guys about something today. So as you probably read by the title, I want to speak to you guys about Jesus Christ. So if you're not Christian and you don't believe in Jesus and you don't believe that He died on the cross for us for our sins then you can click off the video and go to another video because I don't want to offend anyone I just want to try and spread the word to you guys and no matter how many views this video gets if it gets three views if it gets millions of views it could still change lives because I know that I may not be like a pastor but it's fine I'm just trying and why I wanted to make this video is because I'm Christian and also recently I've t on TikToks I've been seeing a lot of Christian TikToks and there was like two videos that really stuck out to me. There was this one video with this girl that said the one thing that stuck out to me that she said, she said to spread the gospel, she said it's not something that we can do but it's something that we can try and do and that's what I'm trying to do. She said she was speaking about the gospel for Christians, it's not something something that we can do something that we can try and do that's i think one of the reasons why jesus sent us on all christians on earth to try and spread the word and make the make a bigger community i guess you could say of christians and make heaven a better place yeah i could say now guys obviously for this video i haven't prepared like a whole speech for the video but I'm just going to go along with what I'm saying. But guys, the second reason that I was thinking about the TikTok video, I forgot what the the thing was, but yeah. And if you're not any religion, if you ever thought of being in a religious group, I think you should try and go to Christianity. And if you don't want to, you don't have to, but it's just my opinion because I was born into a Christian home and I'm just trying to spread the word here but um, I probably won't do that much but I mean at least I'm trying as I said it's our job to try but it's not possible that we'll do it and yeah now no matter what religious group you're in Muslim wherever you come from Jesus loves you no matter what and he's always, always with you no matter if you're a good person or a bad person and you can't really call someone a good person because everyone does something bad every once in a while so I guess you could, could consider everyone bad people I guess you could say because we sinners we're not perfect the only one that was perfect was Jesus Christ and he was born perfect and i'm not saying that christians are better than everyone else everyone's exactly the same everyone's put under the the same line so but i'm trying i don't know what i'm really saying guys i just recently felt that i've needed to do this because i've gotten closer to jesus mainly because of these tiktok videos and also People, a lot of people would probably think on TikTok there's a lot of inappropriate things and it's useful bad things, but it's also a very good platform because it could be used for, as I said, Jesus Christ and you can spread the word because on TikTok there's a lot of Christian um, channels on TikTok now or whatever you call it. And also, the second thing was there was this one TikToker he said, whatever brings joy on earth, like what, whatever brings joy to you on earth, like reading books or playing video games or anything in general. I mean, like eating, people enjoy eating, anything in general that you like. And you're probably thinking, but a lot of video games are bad because they, they're shooting games and all of that stuff. But in heaven, there will be games like video games that will be good and they'll be nice, nothing dirty about them. 
and heaven will be perfect. And you're probably thinking that if you go to heaven, you're just going to be constantly praising the Lord. But you're going to be enjoying yourself too. And obviously, praising the Lord can be very enjoyable at times. And also for Christians, sometimes we don't feel like praising the Lord, but that's a normal thing, I think. Because at, at some at during hard times of our lives, we don't feel strong. But you just got to do what you got to do and carry on. And being a Christian on earth is going to be hard. I'm not going to say it's going to be the best life or the perfect life. But it might just change you. It might just change you as a person. It will make you a better person. Especially with like reactions. If someone's rude to you, you won't react badly. You'll react in a good way and just smile or laugh sarcastically. No, 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 no. Just laugh, laugh. Sorry, sorry. It doesn't mean to be dark. But... I hope I'm not embarrassing myself right now, guys, because I don't know what I'm actually saying. I'm just trying to spread the word, and I'm not that mature, so I don't know that much about spreading the word. But as I get further in life, I'll obviously progress and get closer to Lord Jesus. But I don't know if this video convinced you, if it changed anything, but please think about Lord Jesus and what He did for us. He if you let's say one day your father or let's say you don't have a father or mother let's say one of your parents came up to you and said you go on a cross and die go get hung up on a cross not hung up I don't know what you'd say go get put up on a cross and die you definitely disagree with them and say no and why because you'd be scared but what did Jesus Christ do? He were, he agreed with his father. Well, he agreed with God and he mean, immediately got on the cross and he got sacrificed for us. And if you carry on saying sorry, if you do something wrong and you carry on saying sorry and you carry on doing the same thing. Now, obviously, you will be forgiven, but it's not, it's not being a strong, healthy Christian. You gotta say sorry and then try and stop doing what you're doing. Like with me, I also have the same problem with things in general. I say sorry to Jesus and I just carry on doing it, and that's very unhealthy and it's a bad habit that I have. So I've gotta try and. Now, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I know the video may not be that convincing and it wasn't that good but at least I'm trying right and please if you have any friends that they're having trouble please share this to them and just share it around so this video can get a bit more popular so it might change a life or two because I mean like if you show it to someone and then they share to their um if they share to their boyfriend or girlfriend then they become Christians and they have kids and they share to their kids then their kids have kids and it just the cycle just carries on and it may not it may take a very long time to spread it around but it still may spread around to a couple of people so please share this video and I'm just very grateful that I have a YouTube channel that that I can spread the word and I may not have many subscribers or views but I'm just happy that I can spread the word with people around the world and globally and this video may not get many views but I mean like, at least I'm trying and this video isn't gonna like turn into a full-on Christian channel but um it was just this one video where I tried well maybe in the near future where I become more confident with what I'm saying based on Christianity I'll try and do it again and be more confident with what I say because as you see in this video I'm not that confident and energetic about it but at least I'm trying and I'll I'll see you in the next one bye and one more thing guys I know the video is supposed to be done but I just want to say one more thing I really said it but no matter what religion or you are Jesus loves you no matter what and he made a big sacrifice by dying on the cross for us so that's my last thing I want to say, that 
Jesus loves you and please let this video convince you because it has really helped the world out. But yeah, Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.